Over the past few years, the phrase superhero fatigue has popped up time and time again. Usually it's being used as an excuse as to why so many of these things from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and from the DCEU have been failing at the box office. The reality is people aren't actually tired of superheroes. They're tired of bad superhero movies. And now James Gunn, the new head of the DC Universe, is throwing some shade at the MCU while at the same time addressing superhero fatigue. James Gunn says superhero fatigue is real post Endgame. It's hard for Marvel to keep making good movies. And although James Gunn does say he thinks there's a thing called superhero fatigue, he's basically saying the same things a lot of us have said, that it's not about superheroes. It's not that just all of a sudden people are tired of superheroes. They're tired of bad stories and bad writing. Now, of course, the root cause of so many of these problems, I think, can be directly tied back to pushing identity politics. When you decide to hire people and write these stories based off pushing an agenda instead of entertaining people, usually the end product is going to be worse for that very reason. But this is what James Gunn has to say about this entire thing. James Gunn is calling out the smoking gun behind superhero overkill. The Guardians of the Galaxy 3 director and new co-chief of DC Studios addressed the fatigue behind the genre as a whole, especially on the heels of Marvel's Avengers Endgame. And this is a, it's a tough position for him to be in, right? Because he's releasing a Marvel movie, but it's clear he's had a problem with the way that Marvel has done things lately. I mean, hell, they fired him for a while before hiring him back. And now he's moving on to DC. Here's the quote. I really want Marvel to keep making good movies, Gunn told Rolling Stone. I think it's really hard in the wake of the Endgame blip. There's this worldwide, universe-wide event that happened, and in truth, everyone would be stark raving mad, so it's hard to write stories in the wake of that, which is why the Guardians movies have been easier, because they're set outside of that a little bit. Here's the interesting part. I think there is such a thing as superhero fatigue, but I think it doesn't have anything to do with superheroes. It has to do with the kind of stories that get to be told, and if you lose your eye on the ball, which is character... We love Superman, we love Batman, we love Iron Man because they're these incredible characters that we have in our hearts. And if it becomes a bunch of nonsense on screen, it gets really boring. I get fatigued by most spectacle films by the grind of not having an emotionally grounded story. It doesn't have anything to do with whether they're superhero movies or not. If you don't have a story at the base, just watching things bash into each other, no matter how clever those bashing moments are, no matter how clever the designs and the VFX, it gets fatiguing, and I think that's very, very real. Now, that basically is describing so much of what the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been doing. DC is obviously just a fucking nightmare mess. One of the reasons it's getting rebooted. But when you look at the MCU, that's what so many people have tried to excuse away. Oh, people are just tired of superheroes as they continue to put out things time and time again that at its foundation are just bad stories, bad writing, bad characters. But that's what Marvel's continuing to push towards. For them, it's all in the name of identity, politics. Uh, but to see James Gunn acknowledge that he thinks that there's this thing going around called superhero fatigue, yet at the same time say it has nothing to do with superheroes, that is true. That is a true statement. Superheroes have been around for nearly a fucking century Right. And really, even be, you know, before comic book superheroes, there were always tales like this that were meant to inspire people. They were meant to pass down wisdom to people. People aren't tired of superheroes. They're tired of bad superhero shit. Now, the root cause of that so much in my mind, so many others is identity politics, is wokeness, is pushing this agenda. But what that's affecting beyond just the identity politics is the people that are involved in these things and the stories that are being told. People want to be entertained. People want to see these great characters. And they're simply not getting that the vast majority of time from Marvel and from DC lately. That is a massive problem. And to see James Gunn, I mean, he is throwing shade at Marvel right here, saying you had this big, big M game blip and now everything is just nothing. There's no character development. There's really nothing going on. It's just a bunch of nonsense on screen. That's kind of the definition of Ant-Man 3. It's kind of the definition of Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love, and Thunder. Uh, all of those things could fit that type of description. We'll see if he can change anything going forward in the DC Universe. I, along with many others, have my doubts if James Gunn is up to that task. But it's interesting to hear his thoughts about superhero fatigue and what exactly that means. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. I, I feel like those sentiments are kind of similar things that I've been saying, although... I have been in denial to actually use that phrase superhero fatigue. It's just what a lot of people are using to describe that, that they are tired of the same old thing and they just want good superhero movies. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.